Hello and welcome to my Lego channel. And today, I have an announcement. That light works. That light works. And that light works now, finally. I can not really compare it, but still it works. Nice. So, the huge mock should now be um, actually lit, which is going to be pretty cool. But anyways, back into the video. Um, I'm going to show you how to build this cool looking turret. Um, I mean, that right there is pretty cool. Um, you know, got our guy on here. He's got his sight there. I guess it's like an iron sight. And it's supposed to be like a Gatlin gun. Uh, mini gun kind of turret. And there's his um, little controls, I guess. Right there, that clear thing. Um, and yeah, so flipping it around. I mean, this is kind of a cool design. I kind of like it. Um, so he can go back that far. So, I mean, obviously, he's not really supposed to be shooting down uh, um, gunships and vulture droids or anything. But, you know, he's got a little bit of upward motion. And, yeah, he can go 360. Mostly, it's just this angle. Um, I wanted to get uh, upwards motion and 360, so this looks pretty good. Um, I like the stand, too. The stand looks pretty good with it. So, yeah, let's get into the how to build. All right, so I have it all disassembled, and this is um, a pretty nice-looking mini build, I guess. So, first, we're going to take a three long Technic pin and one of these the Technic pin and Technic axle slide it all the way into the middle then we're gonna take um, some 1 by 2 with hole and connect it like this so this is facing upwards and another one and then you can just plop that onto your base plate or wherever you're building it then actually I'm gonna slide this back in the front, we're going to do these one by one bricks with the stud on um, just the front, like that. And here, I'm going to do a one by three plate, and then a one by three tile. Then here, I'm going to do two by three, and then two by one, and two by one here, on the sides like that. Then on top, we're going to do a 1x4 tile here, 1x4 tile here, and a 1x2 tile like that. So, that's how it should look for now. And we've got some blue here, so we're just going to do 1x2 and a 1x2 cheese slope. And again on the other side, 1x2 and a 1x2 cheese slope. So that is the base. Uh, it looks different. Um, but looks pretty cool. Uh, elevated, nice looking, so nice and tiled off too. Got a little overhang, so pretty nice looking base. Now for the actual seating area and gun, I'm gonna take uh, this. It's a two by two plate with this little area for Technic pin, and connect it to the back of this two by three on the back here so it should look like that with everything connected on this 2x2 two two. we're gonna do a chair it can be white light gray dark gray black it doesn't really matter I'm using dark gray because it kind of blends here um, and then right here is up to you you can either start off with this and this is just gonna be where you put your grate and that's going to look like that. So you can either start off with your grate right on the bottom, or you can put it one by two and then put it like that. So that looks pretty good to me. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to put a one by two jumper and invert, well, not invert, but connect this like that. So there's the stud like that with the actual stud facing the back of the chair and the opening for a stud. Right there, 
And for the controls, I'm just using a one by one T slope that is clear. And we're going to put that in here for the controls. On top, we're going to do one by one clip for the iron sights. And for the gun, right here, we're going to put one of these clips or axle coverings, I guess. Does that look for it? Um, it doesn't really matter whether or not you put the um, circle, circular tip here or the um, axillated or whatever you want to call that. But I'm going to put the axle part first so that it is visible. And then we're just going to plop this on and connect it like that. Not fully on there, but it should give you a nice rotary cannon look and then we're gonna connect this on here with these little gray or dark gray gaps showing on the sides just connect it in like that and then here we're gonna push this actually we're gonna push this down like that and then you can come around and connect it to the bottom and then just swivel it around and there you go so there's your cannon looks pretty cool pretty nice with a nice little stand and the range of motion we already mentioned so there you go. and fortunately you can't just set a guy in there because of the cheese slope so if you want to put a guy in there just remove the top put your guys hands up and feet up and set him in the chair lean him back put his hands forward and then you can connect it on again and there you go so that's how it looks with a guy actually sitting in there obviously his hands can't reach the controls but yeah, so that's a pretty nice looking minigun um, with or cannon or whatever, rotary cannon mounted. But yeah, so that looks pretty cool. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.